Hi, I'm Guillermo Campitelli and I'm going to talk about causal models. This is a very brief explanation and an introduction to causal models. So, causal models have two components, very easy. A node and an edge. Basically, the, we need in, in a um, causal model, we need at least two nodes and one edge. The nodes represent variables and the edges causal relationships between variables. And we have four types of nodes. They're um, rounded, unshaded, rounded, shaded, squarish, unshaded, and squarish, shaded. So the round, which could be circles or ovals, um, nodes, indicate that we're talking about numeric variables and the square nodes indicate nominal variables. The shading of the node indicate whether the variable is a variable that we're going to observe in a study we're, because we are going to measure it or it's a latent variable. Latent variables are not measured and they are not measured because for example it could be um, something we can't possibly measure, but we claim that the variable is um, producing an effect that exists and, and produces an effect on other variables. Because it's an abstract construct, like a psychological construct, for example, intelligence, we may uh, uh, measure intelligence with IQ tests and uh, or different items in an IQ test and all these items uh, will be uh, a measure of a construct which is uh, IQ. And another reason is that a latent variable could be a combination of observed uh, variables. Okay, so we uh, can also use color. This is not usual, but because um, we are now can use uh, online um, texts, not only paper texts, we can use color. The limitation of not using color in, in paper text is because color is more expensive to print. So there is no reason why we can't use uh, colors instead of just, just uh, uh, black and white or gray shading. Okay, so in this case we are going to use um, light colors for latent variables and uh, darker colors for observed variables. This is an example. The variable here is practice, the variable in this node is performance, and there is an edge. So they, this model indicates that practice causes performance. And this variable, sometimes we can put other variables, uh, not just one variable. Um, so typically we use this because um, we use uh, we put other variables or more than one variable in the node when uh, they are variables that um, we are not going to measure. Okay, so I'm going to show you uh, what what I call the simplest causal model and. This, this is important because you, you won't find this type of model in, in um, textbooks or, or people who, who uh, developed the idea of causal models. Uh, but I think it's important to take into account. I'm going to show you this uh, here. I'm going to uh, show you the idea of why I, I, I think this is the simplest causal model. But in further, in, in, in in explanations I'm going to use, um, I'm going to provide later, I'm going to drop parts of this simplest model. Okay, so in the simplest model we've got five variables. Uh, X is the causal variable of interest that is causing variable Y, so Y is the effect of interest. Um, now C is a variable in which everyone has the same value. 
So in a sense, it's not a, a variable because if everyone has all, if all the participants have the same value, uh, then um, it doesn't take more than one value, so it's technically not a variable. I'm going to explain why I think it's interesting to consider this model and uh, this variable. I is a variable in which every individual has a different value. Um, so basically that's what makes us unique. Um, and U is one or a, comp a composite of unknown variables. So basically we are saying that variable Y is caused by variable X, variable C, variable I and vari variable U or a composite of um, variables which are unknown uh, and we call them U. Okay, so C is, um, is important to me because um, sometimes uh, in a, uh, when we are doing research we are interested in what makes us common not only in a causal effect of one of one variable onto another but what would be the value of y um, if variable x is the same for everyone if everyone would have the same value in variable x what would the, the value of y be so basically sometimes let's say for example that the variable intelligence um, would affect the academic performance in some uh, uh, so the, the academic performance so basically the more intelligence you intelligent you are you the better your academic performance but the academic performance of the person who is uh, has um, the lowest value in intelligence is not going to be zero. So being human, regardless of what level of intelligence we have, guarantees that we are going to have more than zero in the, in the variable of, in, of, the, of the effect variable, in this case, academic performance. So that's where C comes um, uh, that's the role of C in the model. It indicates by just being human or, just, or by just being member of the population of interest, what would the, va the minimum value of Y we would obtain? And that is the role of C. Now, I is um, by by being myself, what would the value of y that would be expected? Now, um, this uh, is, is interesting because we are saying, well, by being human, I'm expected to have some value of y. By having a, some value in the variable x, I'm expected to have some value of y. But by being myself, I'm having I'm expected to have a bit more or a bit less on Y. Now, this is interesting in some cases, but in most cases it's uninteresting. It is interesting when we have we know something interesting about one individual. For example, a genius or a prodigy, we know that um, he has some characteristics that make make that person unique and but just because of being that person the, a value of y is expected and maybe the the variable of interest that in other people would affect y in this person would not have an effect and the unknown variables are typically um, are very important because it is very rarely the case in which we can find 
all the causes for uh, one effect. There are always variables that we don't know that may be affecting y. Okay, so this is the simplest causal model, but as I said, you are not going to find uh, these in um, causal model textbooks. Um, the variables C and I do not appear. So we simplify the simplest causal model into this model. Just the variable of interest and the variables that we don't know. So this is the, the actual simplest causal model. Uh, the reason is that C is dropped because if we are inter interested in causation, not in the value that we are expected because we are members of a population, we are, we are typically interested in if we change the value of one variable, what would the value of the other variable be? And uh, if we consider a variable in which there is no change of values, then we are not going to see any effect of in, in the variable of interest, of uh, the effect of interest, why? We drop i from the model because it's not informative. So only in very special cases, as I mentioned before, uh, we may be interested in the individual. Um, but uh, if we are interested in populations, so what happens in populations? So the aspects that make us unique are not very interesting uh, because we are trying to see um, variables that we can measure, that we can control, is what effect those variables have on other variables, no things that uh, make you unique, because that we cannot change. We cannot transform one person into another and see what happens. But we can change variables, the value of variables, and see what's the effect. So we can provide a treatment to some person, we can educate a person, we can, we can provide therapy, training, etc., 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 but we cannot change one person to another. So if that's the case, then uh, that would, wouldn't be interesting. Um, we want to see, we will try, if, the, if a person is, specific, is particularly unique, we want to find a variable that we can measure that makes that person unique. Uh, otherwise, it's not interesting. It's interesting from the scientific point of view. So the simplest causal model would be this one with a known variable and, and, and that uh, causes the values of the another ver another variable that we know and some unknown variables that also uh, has a causal relationship with the very the effect of interest